Oh, Soyeon, what are you doing? Soyeon, what are you doing? <laughs> Welcome back to Music Mania. I'm your host, Christina, and today we are back at it with a brand new video. All right, guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be checking out G-Idol with their newest song called Nude. Now, already from the title alone, I am very, very interested. Second of all, this group, I actually do really like their music, um, especially with Tomboy last year. I did do a reaction of Tomboy earlier this year, so I'll definitely put that up in the eye box for you to check out. Uh, that's probably one of my favorite reactions this year. I'm honestly, that's probably my favorite reaction this year, one of them at least. Um, I love that song now, like especially now as time has flown by, that song, I Ooh, like that entire rock concept. I know people, uh, some people don't like it. It's a very acquired taste, but I am really into that. So that one, oof, that tomboy, ooh, is so good. I, I really like that song. So I have seen teaser pictures and also did hear a little bit of a backstory about this comeback. Um, there's supposed to be a message, kind of like a feminist message to the song. So I can't really wait to see what's going to happen here. And, you know, especially with the song called Nude, I mean, it can really go in a lot of ways. But, you know, with G Idol especially, they really do, um, they make their comebacks really different from everybody else. So I can't wait to check out this video and see what it's all about. Like I also said in the La Seraphim video, um, my voice is a little bit gone right now. I was, or have been sick now for a couple of days. Uh, literally as soon as I uploaded a couple of videos uh, earlier, this week to my channel. Um, I got really sick. Um, that's why I couldn't upload this video sooner. So sorry about that. And uh, I mean, yeah, I was literally like, I, I could not wait to do this. I'm so happy. I'm finally even able to do this right now. So with all that being said, let's just get straight into the video and let's just see what G Idol is going to do with this comeback this time around. All right, guys, so I have the video pulled up here. Let's see what G Idol is going to do in this video. I am really excited. So, oh man. Okay. Ooh, already? Ooh, we're going like 20s? And Soyeon already. Soyeon already looks good. Oh, I, mm, and this piano that comes in? It's very 1920s. It's a wild, wicked, wonderful show, nude. Welcome to the glamorous and sensual nude show. All of her loves, ladies, and lusty legends. Ooh. Sounds very interesting already. Ooh, if someone gets nude in this video, I won't. I'm like, like I said in the last little seraphim video, I'm I'm sick. Mini already looks so good. Look, Mini, uh, oh my, I cannot. Yeppy, yeppy, what? What is? Oh my god, Yuki looks so good. Oh my god. <gasps> what? Okay, no, wait. Okay, I have to go back because, like, what is happening here? So they're all, from what I understood, they're all blonde. I kind of got filled in on this. Basically, they're all blonde because it, this is going to be a song about stereotypes and being, like, dumb blonde and stuff like that. So, like, ooh, my, this this concept is so interesting already. And this dress, this dress is, has to be an ode to Marilyn Monroe, Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. Especially with that big bow on the back. Yeah, that huge bow. Mm-hmm. Has to be. And especially with the Marilyn in the back. Oh my god, the cone bras, guys. Ooh, they're back. That's like a Madonna type of reference there. Oh. Oh. Mion looks so good. G this classic look on Mion? Oh my, I cannot. This is, oh my. G Idol, oh my, before I keep going, G Idol are like the stars of fashion. With their music videos, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is with their stylist. The stylist always knows, like, they understand the assignment pretty much. They always understand. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand, but 
They do. So we're going to keep going. Oh, that's a direct Marilyn reference too with that white dress right there. Everyone knows that reference. Everybody. What are these lyrics too? Even if I look tacky or fall apart? Even if I'm not loved anymore? Yes, I'm new. Oh my. Oh. This B. This anti B drop is very interesting. Okay. It Okay, I I feel like I've never heard music like this, but I'm saying that kind of like in a good way. Interesting. This set too. Literally heavenly. These fashions too. Oh my god. This is very like Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Is that sh Oh my god, Shua's voice! Girl! Is that Shua? Girl, I did not know you could sing like that! Wait, let's go back. Okay. So there's like that... There's that instrumental drop. And then we have like the vocal heavy part here. With Mion and Shua. This is very- I like this part of the chorus. This is kind of- this is pretty catchy already. Oh. Oh, Soyeon. Soyeon? Dude, I literally- I kid you not. I kid you not right now, when this frame opened up, I thought this had to be an opening for like a Lady Gaga like concert or music video. Like this- this look right here. This is everything. Insane. And then the rapping. Yeah, she basically she's sick of everyone being sexist. Um, what? Hold up. We're welcome to throw these popcorns. Rating is just the inverse of bliss. But my climax, I feel sick of those prejudices made by themselves. Oh yeah. So it's like a very uh, it's a very feminist verse, which as she should. Ooh. Oh my. This, this stylist? Gr Shua looks so good in this green dress and the blonde. That's why I told you, you know, Cube may be a really crappy company, but at least they know how to style them. Like, that's all I can really say, honestly. I mean, Jesus Christ. Gr Girlie is the main star of these statues. They don't exist. It's just her. Okay, period. Like, this build up too? Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, these black outfits though. I, okay, you know what? This song is really interesting. Especially, you know, like, I'm not really used to these kinds of songs or beat drops, especially in K pop songs. So, this is very, very interesting enough already. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure they knew people were gonna be, you know, on the fence about this anyway, especially considering the, what the title is, but, uh... I mean, I knew only these girls could pull it off. Oh my god, Minnie looks so good. Oh my god. No, keep going. I've, I've said enough, please. I mean, all of them look so good. Even Yuki too up here. Oh? Soyeon, what are you doing? Soyeon, what are you doing? Okay, I- so, I thought, Okay, you know, I literally almost gagged. I mean, oh my, wait, like in a good way. Don't take that as shade. Okay, um, just wait. I thought that was gonna go somewhere. That- okay, wait, that was- <laughs> You guys, oh my, wait, hey. I literally thought it was- the clothes were gonna come off. They literally cut it off at the right time. Oh. Ooh, these outfits too? Like, these are, the, these are the more modern outfits. I feel like this is kind of going through, like, different types of art. So, like, starting with, like, the 20s and then going all the way to, like, modern day art now. Especially with the outfits and how they look. Like, this looks more on trend. Ooh, what 
What is going on here? Oh, is that a Banksy reference? Looks like it. Ooh. Very interesting. Oh, wait. This video is inspired by Marilyn and Banksy. Oh, hey. Thank you and love you, G Idol. Oh, I literally said Banksy and Marilyn. Oh. See? I can be smart. I know I can be smart. But, okay, wow. This is a very interesting video. Okay, I'm gonna talk about it once I get off of the off this video right now. All right, guys. So that was Giadal with their newest title song called "Nude." Now, I'm gonna say this. Um, I feel like I definitely would need a couple more listens with this song. I'm just really not used to hearing songs like this, in my personal opinion. Um, so I definitely have to listen to it a couple more times to really see how much I can get into it. However, with that being said, I do really like this concept. I think it's a very interesting and unique concept, especially in the world of K-pop when like, you know, everything is supposed to be like conservative, you know, you're not supposed to really break barriers or do too much. Um, but G Isle really manages, especially within this past year, to really like break barriers and just say like, you know what, I don't give a crap what anyone says, I'm just gonna do what I want. I really like that attitude. I mean, you can't really knock it. Now I can see what the song, especially since all of the members are blonde in this video, they're really playing into that whole um, dumb blonde stereotype, and it's a very feminist-centered song, especially since, like, you know, even Marilyn Monroe, too, like, they, they literally said that the song was based off of her, right? Um, very much looked at as a sex symbol, but, you know, they're also known for their smarts, too, and everyone should be known for their smarts and wits. So, I mean, this is a very interesting message, also very political in a way, because, you know, Korean artists don't really comment or participate in political conversations, um, not by their own will. Usually it's by their company that doesn't allow them to talk about anything like that. So I actually applaud G-Idol for really, like, being the first type of group to really make messages and like comments in their music i mean they're literally the only group to really do that right now in this industry i mean of course the fashion too in their videos a uh, thousand out of ten i mean the stylist really did it in top boy earlier this year and then they also did it again so i like the fashion exhausted me out it was so good i mean like no, like I said, no one really doesn't like Giano, and that's why I like them so much. That's why they're another one of my top groups. Like, and they're, you can't really say anything about that. I mean, I don't know. I am definitely going to check out the rest of the Me album to see what songs I like, if any. Um, but judging from G-Idol and kind of like this like whole concept thing, I feel like there's definitely stuff I'm going to like. And I think maybe with a couple of listens, um, I'll probably update you guys in the comments below. Um, I think... I think I could probably start to warm up to this, especially with the chorus. I feel like the chorus is really catchy with the vocal parts of the song. Um, I mean, yeah, that how do I look part, like that song, like that, that part of the song is really catchy. So I think I could see myself really getting into that. But yeah, I can't wait to see what G-Idol are going to do next in their career. Um, I'm assuming they're already going to start planning stuff for 2023. So I literally cannot wait for their new music. I mean, ever since like this year, uh, with their comeback, especially since they had been gone for a year before all this happened, um, with certain events that happened, um, I mean, I'm so glad that they're finally back, like, really bringing new music to the forefront, like, just really fresh and new music that no one else is doing. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. I would appreciate it so, so much. Also, check out all my social media accounts. I'll have them up on the screen for you to definitely go check out and follow um, as I post a lot on there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you maniacs in the next video. Bye!